Is it possible to maintain the balance in our society? Not to deviate so far from the middle, so that war or civil war is spared us? Maybe it will work for a short or longer period of time, but then the law of the wallowing wheel comes into effect again. Rising and shining are irrevocably followed by perishing. The balance is always shaky. Systems in which we are involved always are pulled out of the middle again. The cycle never stops. Hello and welcome wherever you are in the world. Log On is an online magazine of the Spiritual School of the Golden Rosy Cross. We hope that our podcast will provide you with food for thought, inspiration for new questions and impulses in your research for new answers. While we would like everything in our lives to remain as it is, yes, some rest for a while now. Something is broken over and over again. Why? Why me? Otherwise, we learn nothing. We fall into sluggishness, into petrification. That's how we are hunted across the sea of life. Is the conclusion then that the reality of the middle does not exist? Or is it the art of accepting the natural rhythm of variety, of making it as harmonious as possible, not seeking the extremes, but dealing detachedly with what happens to you? To understand its inevitability and then looking for insight into what the middle really means? And perhaps the most important question is, the middle of what? Well, why is the middle so important to people? In every village, the church is located or was located in the middle. All primary primitive tribes make a circle in which there is dancing in the middle or a ritual performed. The labyrinth on the church floor leads to the middle. In a garden or park or on a square, there is a well in the middle. The magic of the center is connected to that of the circle. A cryptic statement, God is a circle whose circumference is nowhere and the middle is everywhere. A striking paradox. The circle is the great symbol of humanity. From rose window to mandala, from sun wheel to halo, from witch circle to Irish cross, from place d'étoile to Stonehenge, from the sun in the middle of the solar system with the planets around it, to the UFOs, unidentified flying objects, or crop circles, they are always round. According to Jung, a real symbol always occurs when it is necessary to express something that the mind cannot think of, or that can only be guessed or felt. The symbol of the circle of turning around a center is therefore about that middle. In Taoism, Tao is the middle from which everything is manifested and to which everything must return. Tao is unthinkable, unknowable, remains hidden. The effect of Tao, the Te, can be experienced though. The Te is a stilling miracle. Creation is the emergence of movement, of vibration, always around the middle. The great center of creation that we know is the sun. Without the sun, there is no life or vibration on earth. And without a nucleus, there is no vibration of the atom, no life in the cell. The big equals the small. The Taoist creation story is From Tao the One arose, from the One the Two, and from there the Ten Thousand Things. In Christianity, there was, in the beginning, the Word. Two is movement, is vibration. Word is the beginning of movement, of vibration. Creation equals vibration. The two created 
primal forces, the movement from the middle and towards the middle came into effect. With the two, the movement began around the middle, thesis, antithesis, synthesis, with the possibility that synthesis will again become the thesis for the next cycle. The yin and the yang arose with the yang in the middle, while in the middle of the yang, the yin principle is present. And in the middle of the yin, one finds the yang principle, both increasing and decreasing again in a continuous movement. The lemnus gate, or number eight on its side, the symbol of infinity in mathematics, also gives an image of movement, always rotating through the middle, always looking for the center, but also moving away from it again and again. Thus, the two primal forces created dynamics between two poles, a constant alternation around the connecting center. Which brings us back to the above question, the middle of what? primary organizing principle in all creation. It brings unity and coherence. Everything that rotates necessarily has a center around which it rotates, and everything at every level is rotating, so everything has a center point. A center holds together the system in which it is the center, by the vibration or energy it emits. Each of us also has a center, a soul, a heart. If that heart coincides with the heart of creation, if we live according to the divine idea, there is harmony between mankind and cosmos. Then we live from the middle and return there again and again as co-creators. But when a false center, the ego, assigns itself the role of being the center of everything, chaos arises and the order intended by God is let go. Then the structure falls apart. Man can no longer maintain himself in the spiritual area and ends up in matter. That's where the pendulum starts moving, where it goes to the extreme, to where matter calls him to order, and the pendulum swings the other way again. That is a law. If the pendulum swings all the way to the left, it must also swing all the way to the right. The idea that all just run to be good solves duality is not correct. We are stuck in the inevitable, inevitable pendulum swing. That is the situation of humanity on Earth now. But things are starting to change. An awareness grows that the middle is indispensable to taking a new step. For the middle is not only surrounded by a circle, a ring not so close that man encounters again and again, as if he will always have to stay in the flat plane to be reflected back again. No, the middle is also the place where the pendulum can come to rest, where silence reigns. In that silence, we can seek that connection with a higher middle, a transcending center. Now there is no longer the image of the point in the circle but there is the image of an axis, a tree of life, an opportunity for the soul to ascend. An awareness is growing that we have to go back to that middle to be able to make a quantum leap in consciousness by raising vibrations, as is said. Then the circle becomes the transition to a higher spiral, transcending polarity and duality. Everything takes place in a large field of consciousness, a field of energy, light, and love that we can also call the One Consciousness, that can be seen as another name for God, the All One. Creation is an ongoing process. Where consciousness evolves, creation evolves. Creation is aimed at increasing consciousness eternally. Creation has one purpose, arisen from consciousness it only wants to let consciousness grow to expand itself eternally. 
this is the law of love. in reaching more people, like our posts, rate us with 5 stars on iTunes, leave a positive comment where you can, or share our content on your social media.